Hello. I'd like to explain a little bit about this painting, which is called Geisha Number no. One. Um, it's part of a series which is produced by two people, myself and Sita Alagapan. When we work together, we call ourselves Moorland Productions. It's a kind of like Spielberg Productions or Gilbert and George. It's a collaboration, artistic collaboration, where each person contributes their own skills. Um, in this particular series, we're looking at different cultures. Um, the first one we did is this one based on Japan. For personal reasons, my mother was born in Japan and Japanese she spoke as a child and she traveled a lot. So I've always had an interest in, in Japan and Japanese art. Um, the other aspect of it is to do with artistic languages, artistic styles. Um, I speak and Sita speaks various languages and we're conscious that you can say certain things in one language and not in another. Certain expressions are typically German or typically Italian. So we were trying to find a way to speak three different languages in the same picture and yet still be able to communicate something quite clear. Uh, we took the model of a landscape. The, the minimal way you can represent a landscape really is to have a background, a foreground and something in the middle. It's a, that's, that's almost the minimum ingredients of a landscape. And we thought we'd try and use each of those elements using a different style but still it would be a Japanese style, recognizably Japanese. So the landscape is taken from a Hiroshige woodcut from the 1860s, and it's typically in his style, the brush strokes and the, the view is taken from a Hiroshige print. The clouds are taken from the style of, the abstract style of kimono uh, design, where elements from nature here, the clouds, are observed and abstracted and simplified to form a, a decorative pattern. So you can see the style of the landscape and the style of the clouds are completely different. It's as if the clouds are in French and the landscape is in German. And the figure, of course, is painted in a modern photographic style, post, not exactly photorealist, but photographic style. Um, the three things together, the background, the figure and the foreground, still cohere as a landscape because we're so used to seeing landscapes where our eyes, if you give us three shapes, a, a square, a circle and a line, we'll, we'll read it like a landscape if they're arranged in a certain way. So you have a horizontal landscape, a horizontal plane behind and a vertical figure. So even how, however far you push those limits, the, the painting still coheres, or at least we hope it does, it still coheres as a figurative landscape that you can read quite easily and you can see it quite clearly it's a Japanese landscape so that was the idea that started us off on this series exploring different languages from different cultures and maybe trying to mix the different languages in in one picture <laughs>